Alrighty, so implementation of the week. This is kind of a tie-in with a pick of the week that we did a couple weeks back. Um, and this is where we built an integration for CRM and Zoho Books for WooCommerce subscriptions using this plugin called WP Webhooks. So uh, there are cases where we can use Zoho subscriptions for a customer that needs to manage subscription billing, um, but there are cases where it might make more sense for them to use a different tool that's a little more flexible, a little cleaner looking, a little prettier, you know, et cetera. And so in this case, our client was going to use WooCommerce subscriptions hosted on the website to manage signups and then the repeat billing. But we still wanted all of that data to live within CRM for like the management of subscriptions. So if someone calls in, we'll know if it's active, expired, et cetera. Um, and then also integrating the Zoho books for accounting, right? Because you need that invoice and payment to actually land somewhere where you can account for it. Um, so the first thing we did to start building this integration was install the WP webhooks on the client's website. If you didn't see the previous show where we did it as the pick of the week, uh, this is essentially a plugin that allows you to post a webhook to wherever you want based on all different types of things that happen on a WordPress site. So we're using it here for WooCommerce subscriptions, but it'll work for a ton of different plugins and applications that work with WordPress. Um, so super easy to use. We use that to post the data whenever a subscription is updated or a payment is logged for a subscription. Then we set up endpoints inside a Zoho flow to essentially catch that data um, whenever those updates occur on the uh, website. Lastly, we'll use Zoho Flow to essentially map that data to CRM to create or update customers, subscriptions, and subscription payment data uh, all within CRM so that you have easy access to all of that. Really similar to what you would have if you did like the Zoho subscriptions to Zoho CRM integration. Then lastly, we go ahead and create an invoice inside of Zoho Books. We do add a three-hour delay to that piece of the workflow just because we want to make sure that the data has synced from CRM to Zoho Books in the case of like a new customer who's signing up. Um, then we create that invoice, create the associated payment for it, and link it up to the appropriate customer um, so that as subscriptions are activated, renewed, or expired or canceled, all of that data is just reconciling easily into the Zoho environment. Wow. That is one heck of an implementation right there. And there were three of you. You led that one up and with Andrew and Colton. So very, very nice. 